All right, buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, so Harvest Workers 1218, he's got another reply or another comment on the video that I essentially did uh, regarding a comment that he made the prior day. Okay. So I want to read his comment and then and then uh, respond to it and hopefully maybe somebody will finally see it um, what I've been preaching for so long to me it stands out like a sore thumb but being able to teach it is a challenge because once again it's easier to lie to somebody than it is to convince them that they've been lied to all right, so first of all, let me go to Ecclesiastes 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. All right, so let's, let's hear what he has to say here. He says, wow, friend. You seem to have a real problem of assuming things that others supposedly believe. Check out. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out, I guess. To 5314. That's as cruel as it gets. Because they can't wait. If they're going to have any chance at all, if they have... Their only opportunity is today. Okay, so the same thing that I'm going to talk about today. It's cruel to teach that this idea of a thousand year millennial reign coming after the return of Jesus Christ. It's contrary to the entire Bible. So let's, let's continue here. I never once said any of the things that you claim I said in this video, or in previous videos for that matter. Let it be known that everything I said can be read in the text messages found in this video and in previous videos. Now, then, let me get this straight. You took it upon yourself to assume that I had supposedly believed something that I didn't say, and then had the audacity to call me cruel for believing something that I didn't say. Wow, that does not line up with what the Lord Jesus Christ teaches us in his word, but it does resemble and line up with what the Bible says about the accuser of the brethren. Listen, man, it's bad enough for you to call others dumb and stupid during your videos, whether it's for the things they say or things they believe but it's another thing entirely to call other believers cruel and evil for things they never said just in case you forgot you called me evil in a previous video for saying things I never ever said but I choose to forgive you and not take offense all right so that's great except the problem is, Harvester1218, is that you're teaching this idea of a thousand year period coming after Jesus returns. Now, now, you know, I, somewhere, oh, I'm going to get in trouble for this if I don't find the comment. Alright, so, okay. Alright, so let me put this together for you. Alright, so you're saying that Satan is not bound today in accordance to Revelation 20 all right so let's go to Revelation 20 so what you're saying is that Satan will be bound 
after the return of Jesus. All right, so <laughs> I mean, if that's what you believe, just go out and just go ahead and be honest. All right, you believe that Jesus is coming, and then Satan will be bound for a thousand years. All right, just just to be clear, just to be honest with yourself, harvester workers, harvest workers. Just be honest with yourself. That's what you believe. Just be honest about it. Okay. Now, um, so you provided scripture here, uh, thinking that you're providing evidence that Satan is not bound. The obvious problem is that this is not talking about Satan deceiving the nations. Revelation 20 is. And cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more. Alright, so let's, if you're familiar with what I'm teaching, I'm telling you that this is going on right now because before Jesus came along in the Old Testament there was one country one nation of God now Jesus has come and made the kingdom of God available to whosoever believes in him and now Satan is bound until the thousand years are finished which is the end of the world when we are lifted up in the air and now all the people on the earth are unsaved now when, at the end of the world, will Satan be able to deceive the nations once again like he did in the Old Testament outside of the nation of Israel? Alright. So, what happens? Nation, uh, Satan gathers together his people. Alright. And shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together. All right. So make no mistake about that. Now let's try to follow along with you, what your the view that you're presenting. All right. And this is very common. All right. Let's listen to a few seconds of Dean Odell. The Son of Man that came to the Ancient of Days, and we know that is Jesus. And there was given to him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away in his kingdom. All right, listen to what he says. It shall not pass away. Serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion. His dominion is an everlasting dominion by his own words. Which shall not pass away in his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. So his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed, in his own words. We know that speaking of the second coming of Jesus, the millennial reign, and his there. Now he just lied. He just mixed a lie in with the truth. The millennial kingdom. There is no millennial kingdom. He goes from everlasting kingdom a kingdom that shall never end to a, all of a sudden now it's only a thousand years all right and this is the this is the problem jesus does not reign for a thousand years all right i mean wow man you talk about wow friend wow what's it say in first corinthians 15 i mean dean wants to say that there's coming a thousand year reign of christ Yet in 1 Corinthians 15 it says he must reign till he has put all enemies under his feet. He's reigning right now. In his kingdom there is no end. It's not a thousand year kingdom. His kingdom is eternal life. Everlasting life. His kingdom is forever. There is no end to his kingdom. And that's the suggestion of a millennial kingdom. And that's the problem. All right, so let's get into this. This, so this is what I'm saying, harvester, harvest workers, is that what you're trying to teach is what 
you've heard other people say and what other people are saying is what they heard other people say and so on and so forth it's a false doctrine and the reason why people are so delusional is because they're not trusting the Bible they're not trusting the Word of God and all of it's in the Bible it's incredible all of it is in the Bible every single bit of it everything that we see happening today it's already written in the Bible and I pointed this out over and over and over but let's get into what you are claiming and that is Jesus returns and then he's here for a thousand years okay and so you're taking offense to me saying it's cruel to teach that you can if you're unsaved you can wait till after Jesus returns to believe in him and it is cruel it's stupid and uh, was it dumb is that the word yeah dumb it's dumb stupid and cruel to teach unsaved people that they can wait until after Jesus returns to believe in him now you're taking offense to this and you're claiming I never said that but you're holding to this belief that there's a thousand years coming after the Lord Jesus Christ returns all right here's the problem after the thousand years are expired Satan is loosed okay so your claim is that Satan is not bound today all right so you're saying that Satan will be um, bound for a thousand years and then after the thousand years he's gonna be loosed again and when he's loosed this is don't lose sight of this this is a thousand years after you say Jesus comes all right so you're saying Jesus comes there's a thousand years and then after the thousand years so this is a thousand years after Jesus comes this is why I'm saying it's cruel a thousand years after Jesus comes then Satan goes out to deceive the nations see that and then fire comes down from God out of heaven and devours them them so you have unsaved people living after Jesus returns for a thousand years no okay then if you say no then you have to say that Satan is loosed at the end of the thousand years and he goes out to deceive the nations which you say are saved people to gather saved people to battle and they compass the camp of the Saints saved people compassing the camp of the Saints and fire comes down from God out of heaven and devours saved people you see what I'm saying it's a problem man it's a problem none of that's true at all and that's you hear me use words like cruel that is cruel because the fact of the matter the truth is that when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven it is the end of the world there is no more opportunity for unsaved people to get saved their opportunity is right now to teach a child that they can wait until after Jesus returns to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that is as cruel as it gets and that's essentially what you're doing and that's the problem I have and it's not just you obviously I mean I, this is the point I'm trying to make day after day is that this is a very very popular teaching 
and it's so popular and the whole reason for it is because none of these people believe the Bible that they hold in their hands they're believing what other men say rather than what God says and that's why we read in Isaiah 66 that God will choose their delusions and the delusion that is so that is popular today is the idea that's being presented in a Hollywood movie called the left behind where people magically disappear and there are unsaved people wondering what's going on and then they get another chance to be saved that's cruel because when Jesus comes there is no more chance so they're deliberately lying and I heard I've had somebody come to me personally and say they're gonna wait for Jesus to come before they start believing in him and I, I, I can't tell you, you don't do that don't do that I mean nobody listens but what can I say that if you wait it's too late okay so anyways um I look I get it you're offended okay if I say if I say anything I'm gonna offend somebody right and I've heard people say this oh Jesus never talked like this Jesus was never um, harsh you know but I look I want to help you I'm not I'm not sitting here condemning you I'm trying to help you and I'm by by trying to show you very sternly and very um, you know matter of factly authoritatively <laughs> that this teaching of a thousand years coming after Jesus returns is cruel dumb and stupid and there are probably a whole lot of other words I could use as well but I'm gonna end it right here thanks man I appreciate now you can go ahead and be cruel to me you can you can uh, be you know call me names or whatever that's fine you can be offended you can accuse me and claim that I'm accusing you and all that that's okay I don't care about all that stuff I just want the truth alright let's get to the truth and let's just first of all admit where you're at in your teaching are you teaching unsaved people are living after the th after Jesus returns are you teaching unsaved people are still living after Jesus returns are you teaching that they still have a chance and if not then this thousand years when after you claim Jesus returns there's a thousand years then you're left with nothing here you're left with all you have is fire coming down from God and devouring saved people and you know that ain't right okay that's it